morning, everybody. When I'm hearing that resume, it makes me feel old. <laughs> so I'm going to discount it and say that changes every day that make the whole thing a lot different. I, I want to say a couple of things this morning very quickly, and that is, Lorena, every time I come to this platform, you and I seem to have had long conversations on the telephone as to what the subject matter is going to be. <laughs> and that's fantastic when uh, you're in our world, the world of spiritualism, because it means that you seriously are in touch with the people that you are close to. And then the other thing is, I've been working on a series of articles on the quality of life. And that was what I was going to talk about today, particularly of what you and I have to do to improve the quality of life, especially prior to making our transition. And then the mobile home park that I live in had a garage sale yesterday, a park garage sale. And in that, last year when they had the garage sale, I made some money. I made $58, I think it was. And I asked Spirit this year to be a little bit more generous. And I said, you know, I could do with $100. Or I feel good about a garage sale that produced $100 or $110. And, uh, while I'm thinking big, 130. And I'm serious, this is during the week of last week coming up. And yesterday, I had visitors to my site as early as 6.30 in the morning. And by 6.35, I'd made $40, which was a great improvement on last year. And then by the end of the day, at one o'clock when things really started tapering off. I counted the money that I had and I had $109, closer to the goal, which was great. And then a couple of people came and bought some things and put me at $129. Not the $130 that I'd asked for, but $129 and I think 25 or 28 cents in change. So by the time I bought lunch for my friends that had come to give me a helping hand, but really just take up space on my veranda, um, I ended back up with the $110 that I'd asked for originally. So there's, there's two stories to this, and one is be careful what you ask for, okay, because you will receive what you ask for if you're genuine in that asking. And the other thing is, don't put too small an income on any garage sale that you might have, <laughs> because you might receive that smaller dose. Which leads me into this morning, in the middle of the after, in the middle of the morning, I should say yesterday, and friends were asking me what I was going to talk about today, and I said, quality of life, and then all of a sudden, I did a pirouette across my veranda patio where I was standing and I said, no, I'm not. It's gratitude. And a friend said, gratitude what? I said, that's the subject of my talk in the morning. Okay, and here I am, as usual, because I was taught by a great medium that I do not prepare lectures. I ask spirit to direct me, and when I walk up on the platform, say, okay, I'm here, say what you want. So gratitude this morning is going to be dovetailing on what Lorena talked about in love. And it's the fact that love can exist by itself in reality, but gratitude can't exist 
in its right reality without love. And in saying that, I want to say that gratitude should be a positive, wonderful experience and not something that you have to, you have to feel grateful for because it's expected of you. Gratitude is one of the ways to look at life and build your life better. Because if you look at gratitude as a great positive experience, what you can do is give thanks for everything that you're experiencing. That means the good and the bad. Because if you have a downturn, when you come out of that downturn, you have the joy that it's over. But you, one of the things that you have to put is a positive spin on that downturn. What did I learn from it? What did I gain from it? Really, was it a downturn or was it a lesson that I needed to learn and I've been ignoring of late? And we all know, touching briefly on the quality of life, that we're on this earth plane to learn a lesson. That's the only reason we're here. We're not here to be good looking. We're not here to be brainy. We're not here to be tall or short or fat. We're here to experience something that takes us on to a better life. And if we really believe our religion, that's where we're going, on to a better life. Okay. If we really believe our religion, there is no fear of transition. Because number one, if you're really grateful for getting out of this mess that's on this earth plane right now, you should express your gratitude for transition. <laughs> That's a joke aside, but those are the things that we have to look at when we're talking about gratitude. Because if you don't take something positive away from what you learn, whatever you learn, you are doomed, to use the expression, to live that lesson again. Okay? If you don't learn from those bad times, and if you don't learn from the good times, be very grateful for the friends that you have here. As part of the love, be grateful for the friends that you have here because they put you in a place of serenity, you might say, thinking about all of these people that think alike a mindset in their principles. It gives you a little oasis in this madhouse that's going on in the earth plane right now. So express your gratitude. Express your gratitude and it, gratitude when it comes with love is a great gratitude. It's not, I gotta do it. My mother said I had to do it. My mother said I had to say thank you for every little thing that's done for me. So I'll say thank you and not really mean it. Okay? When you say thank you, really mean it. And if you can say it with a smile, that's even better. We were at our ladies group the other day. We've been studying Cahill Gibran, and we got to, and we're doing the prophet, and we got to the paragraph on joy and sorrow. And it re-emphasized what gratitude to me really is, because it says, when you experience sorrow, you've got to experience joy. And when you experience joy, 
It's for being away from the sorrow that you had prior to that joy. And gratitude, and that to me embodied gratitude, because we have to, we really have to give our blessings for every day, for everything that we do. And, it, and it's not being goody two-shoes or putting on a facade that the rest of the world expects you to put on. It's what you feel in your heart for what's going on right now. And there are times when you may not feel so hot about what's going on right now, but if you don't express that, nobody knows and nobody can help you through the problem. And you'd be surprised how much gratitude they have for being allowed to share your problems so that they can take some of the load off your shoulders. Remember that little saying that a problem shared is a problem halved. And so what do we else do we know about gratitude? Gratitude is something that I don't take for granted. If anybody uh, knows anything about me, um, which I, I don't share a great deal, but if anybody knows anything about me, I, I came through the Blitz of London during World War II. I wasn't that old, but I suffered. Uh, it wasn't until Three years ago, when we got burned out because of the Cocos fire, that the counselor that I spoke to said, my God, you've been living with PTSD all these years, okay? I was very grateful that I didn't know that that was happening. <laughs> very grateful indeed that I could say I haven't suffered that much through it. I may have, my behavior may have shown it, but I didn't know I had it, so I'm grateful, okay? So look at your own lives that way. Look at your own lives that way. What have you learned in your life? One of the things when I was sitting up here, it was brought to mind when our young friend, wherever he is, was sitting here. and. Were we bullied at school? Did we go through any of that? Any of us go through any of that? Did we go through the color thing? I'm sure a lot of people did. Or the fact that your name was a little bit different from the white world that goes on around you. And what did you learn from that? The most grateful thing you can take with you is that when in learning from that, you were determined that you weren't going to repeat that kind of behavior. And so those are the things that you have to have gratitude for. The people that call me a little bit nutty because I like to be by myself, okay? You know, uh, you know, Sylvia, she's not quite all there. She wants to be by herself from the time I was six until I was a teenager. Okay, maybe that was part of the PTSD that I had that I didn't know I had. <laughs> but, what, but the thing was, it made me determine, and for people that know me now, you might not know that I didn't speak to very, very few people outside my family till I was about 16. Okay, and then I made the effort. I was determined. And I was very grateful when it happened that I read an article that said, well, you'd do better off if you asked the questions. And so I got a bit mouthy and I asked questions of everybody. And lo and behold, I grew into my body or grew into my persona, okay, which doesn't shut up, by the way. <laughs> But those are the things that you can be grateful for, the learning experience that I had in being the odd one out in the family made a big determination for me 
not necessarily to be part of the family, but to be different from what I was and open up more. So I can be eternally grateful for those little mutterings. Although there's nobody around anymore for those mutterings. My only brother out of seven of us lives in Australia, so we don't get to mutter that much together anymore. So what I'm saying here is gratitude can come in all forms. You don't have to be grateful for a gift that somebody gives you until you look at what that gift really meant to you. Okay. And then you can have the gratitude and the love that goes with it. So, so that every thought or every action that you take in the coming week Give yourself a little homework. Have a look at it from a different angle. What can I say thank you for? And what was the lesson that I learned? And what, how can I share that with somebody else? Okay? It's a pleasure for me to get up here and speak to you not because of anything other than I have the opportunity to share what I know or what I am hearing with you. And I'm very grateful for that. So I thank you all for coming to listen to me today. Thank you. I'm very grateful. Thank you.